Good afternoon, I'm Keenan Smith. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. State police laid out new information on Michigan's breathalyzer scandal. They told a Senate committee in Lansing that a routine audit identified irregularities in records for breathalyzer equipment. Police suspect some of the tests were fabricated and records may have also been forged. Investigators took all 203 of those breathalyzers off the streets. We're told they're doing blood tests now instead of breath tests to check for drunk drivers. State police hope to put all those breathalyzers back in service soon. Well, police are using search dogs to find a second suspect in a drug-related armed robbery. It happened in Sterling Heights around 2 o'clock this morning on Curie Avenue near Nine Mile. Overnight, police tracked two people to an apartment complex on Strawberry Lane in Sterling Heights. Officers arrested one person, but a second got away. And we're following new testimony today in a hearing about the future of that building containing green ooze. The city of Madison Heights says the whole thing should be torn down. The city says the building owned by Gary Sayers is not only in disrepair, but needs to be demolished in order to decontaminate the ground underneath. Right now, the EPA and the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy are on site trying to stop the flow of poisonous hexavalent chromium. Sears' attorney has tried to make the case that the city treated his client unfairly by giving him so many violations that his client couldn't address the problems. All right, let's get a check of the forecast. We have some big changes now and into the weekend. That's right. We have a cold and windy conditions today, generating some lake effects, snow showers. It'll fizzle out by the evening, and we are looking quiet, but cold tonight down into the teens for overnight lows and a cold wind continuing. Big change for the weekend, snow on the way. So unlike last weekend, this is more snow than rain, although it does look like it'll mix or change over to rain for a brief time in the afternoon. Four to seven inches of snow across Metro Detroit expected. Lesser amounts to the south of I-94 and those higher snow totals to the north and then things freeze again for Saturday evening into Sunday morning. So watch for icy roads. Temperatures will be chilly tomorrow, but at least it'll be dry Friday. It's after midnight that snow gets underway. Heaviest Saturday morning and then temperatures are much colder by Sunday into next week. Right, I, was, I was wondering where winter is. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> it's back. Well, Eastern Michigan University is holding a week long celebration to honor the life and legacy of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Activities kick off today and run until next Wednesday. There are a variety of free family friendly events and they're open to the public. Highlights include a commemorative march, a day of service and a gospel fest. For a full list of events, you can head to our website WXYZ.com. Those are your headlines from Channel 7. Don't forget you can go to WXYZ.com and download the free 7 app for news anytime. I'm Keenan Smith. Have a great day.